Ever wondered why some customers object to your price or stall with a need to think it over? It's a common situation many sales professionals find themselves in, but fear not. There are effective strategies to tackle these objections head on. First, let's address the objection. Your price is too high. This can be a tricky one to handle, but remember, it's not always about the price. More often, it's about the perceived value. Step one, don't jump to defend your price. Take a moment, acknowledge their concern. A simple, I understand where you're coming from, can go a long way. Step two, probe deeper. Ask questions to understand why they feel the price is too high. You could say, please tell me more, which helps you uncover their underlying concerns. Step three, reframe the conversation around value, not price. Highlight the benefits and the value that your solution offers. Remember, people don't buy products, they buy solutions to their problems. Now let's tackle the second objection. I need to think it over. This is often a sign that the customer is not fully convinced or there's some lingering doubt. Step one, don't push for an immediate decision. Respect their need for time and space. You could say, I understand you need to think about this. Step two, seek clarity. Ask what specific aspects they would like to think over. You could ask, is it the price? Is it the implementation? Or is there another concern we haven't talked about? This will help you address their problems more effectively. Step three, offer to assist in their decision-making. Provide additional information, testimonials or case studies that might help them. To wrap up, handling objections is an art that requires patience, understanding and a strategic approach. When faced with the high price objection, remember not to rush to defend your price, probe deeper to understand their concerns, and reframe the conversation around value. You could also say, the sweetness of low price is quickly forgotten when you have to deal day after day with the bitterness of low quality. When dealing with the think it over objection, respect their need for time, seek clarity on what they want to think over, and offer to assist in their decision-making process. You could say, I am committed to working harder to make this decision easier for you. Remember, every customer objection is a question in disguise. Every objection is an opportunity to understand your customer better and tailor your approach to meet their needs. So, the next time you encounter these objections, you can apply principles and close more sales. <laughs>